Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to convert circle equations from standard to general forms. Before we get started with an example, let's go ahead and review what's the standard and general forms of the equation of um, circles are. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at what the standard form is. So the standard form is also known as the center radius form, okay? This um, applies only to circles, so standard or center radius form. The standard or center radius form for the equation of a circle is given by quantity x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. The standard form is called the center radius form because it is easy to determine what the center and radius of the circle is when it is presented in this form. Okay, so with this format, the center is given by h comma k and the radius is given by R. So our goal in this presentation is to go from this form standard into a form known as the general form. So the general form of the equation of a circle is given by x square plus y square plus ax plus b y plus c equals zero. Okay, so there goes the uh, general form. Now let's take a look at an example. So the task is to write the equation of the given circle in general form. Okay, so let's say we have the equation x minus 14 quantity square plus y plus 2 quantity square equals 4. Okay, so this is the standard form or um, center radius form of the equation of a circle, okay? So our goal is to convert this into the general form. So all we are simply going to do is we're going to expand this squared quantities and set the entire equation equal to zero. If you take a look at the um, general form, you notice that there are no uh, squared quantities present and the entire equation is set to zero. So that's what we're going to be doing here, okay? So x minus 14 is raised to the second power. It just means that we're going to be multiplying this quantity by itself twice. So we have the quantity x minus 14 multiplied by the quantity x minus 14, plus we have y plus two squared. So the same procedure applies y plus 2 times y plus 2 and then that's equal to 4. So now let's go ahead and expand. We just distribute the first, the outer, the inner, and then the last. Okay, so let's multiply. x times x is x squared. x times negative 14 is negative 14x negative 14 times x is negative 14x, negative 14 times negative 14 is positive 196. Plus, in the y area, we'll do the same um, thing. You just distribute the first, outer, inner, and then the last. So let's go ahead and multiply that out. y times y is y squared plus y times 2 is 2y plus 
2 times y is 2y plus 2 times 2 is 4 equals 4. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify the x's and the y's. All right, so we're going to have x squared. If we combine negative 14 and negative 14, since they have the same sign, we'll add and keep the sign. So that gives us negative 28x plus 196. And then for the y's, we have y squared. Positive 2y plus 2y is plus 4y plus 4. Okay, there's something I just want to sh go over real quick, and it's just shortcut for um, expanding squared binomials. So let's take a look at that real quick. So this is a, a shortcut right here. Now, let's say you want to square the sum, okay, binomial sum, a plus b square. The shortcut you can use is the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square. And then if it's a difference, a minus b square, you're going to have a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now take a look at what we have here. x minus 14 square is simply a square, which is x square, minus 2ab is uh, 2 times x times 14. So this is basically the a and this is the b. So 2ab will be 2 times x times 14, which is 28x plus b squared, which is 14 squared, and that's 196. So using this formula, you can just jump from the first line to the fourth line. Okay, the same applies with y plus 2 quantity squared. This is a plus b. So the expanded form will be a squared, y squared, plus 2ab, 2 times y times 2, 4y plus b squared plus 4. Okay, it's just something to keep in mind. But if you don't remember the shortcuts, just simply expand it um, and you should be fine. Now let's go ahead and um, organize our terms in a way that's consistent with the general form of the equation of a line. So you have the squared quantities first and then the first degree um, terms next. And then you have the uh, zero degree term or the constant lasts. Okay, so second degree terms, first degree terms, and then the constant equal to zero. Okay, so let's do it. Um, what comes first is x square, and then the next square is um, y square, and then next we're done with the second degree terms. Okay. Now we're going to go to the first degree terms. You're following the alphabetical order. That's what you're doing. Since x comes before y, um, the x terms come before the y terms. All right, so we have minus 28x plus 4y. And then we combine the constants. 196 plus uh, 4 is 200 equals 4. Now take a look at the equation that we have right here. Is this the standard, I'm sorry, is this the general form? The answer is no. What's left to be done? Remember the general form has to be uh, equal, has an equation that's equal to 0. Okay, so we have a 4 here, so that needs to change. So what we'll do is we'll subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. And when we do that, we should have arrived at the um, general form of the equation of the circle. Okay, so we're going to have x squared plus y squared minus 28x plus 4y. And then 200 minus 4 is 196 equals 0. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the general form of the equation of the circle that was presented in um, standard form earlier. Okay, so this is the general form. 
So how well did you master the um, presentation? Well, I'm, we're going to have you test yourself by trying um, the following problems. So the task is to convert the given circle equations uh, from standard to general form. Okay? So what you do is you um, try out the problems, pause the video, and when you're done, you advance the video and see what the answers are. So for number one, it's quantity x minus 9 square plus y plus 4. Quantity square equals 64. So you have to change that into general form. Number two, we have quantity x plus 9 square plus y square equals 22. And then for number 3, we have quantity x plus 5 square plus y minus 12 equals 16. Okay? So go ahead and pause the video and uh, try out these problems. When you're done, just continue advancing it and I will present the answers um, to you. Okay, now let's hope that you've spent some time working on all the problems. Um, question number one, the answer is x squared plus y squared minus 18x plus 8y plus 33 equals 0. For number two, in general form, the answer is x squared plus y squared plus 18x plus 59 equals 0. And for number 3, the general form is x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 24y plus 153 equals 0. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of um, conic sections, do give us a thumbs up. We will um, greatly appreciate your support. We we'll also like your feedback. Um, if you can take the time to post the answers to these questions in the comment section, um, what was helpful in this presentation, what was not, what questions do remain, and what tutorials will you like us to make if you can answer these questions in the comment section below, um, we'll be um, more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to tutorials that we upload to our sites on a consistent basis. More tools and resources can be found at our website at mathgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.